Some stars burn bright, then fade. Patrick Swayze blazed across our screens, leaving a mark that refuses to dim. From rebellious heartthrob to romantic hero, he danced, fought, and loved his way into cinematic history. But when you were a little kid and your mother said, I'm going to take you in and put you in the dancing studio, how'd you feel about it? You see what all the other kids were doing and, and wanted to do it. But behind the dazzling smile and effortless charm, there were battles and hidden scars. Join us as we uncover the man beneath the legend, the triumphs and the turmoil, and why the world still remembers the name. Patrick Swayze. Before the Spotlight. The Making of a Star. Patrick Swayze. The beloved actor who captivated audiences with his undeniable charm and talent was born on August 18, 1952, in Houston, Texas. His life was a tapestry woven with the threads of a distinguished lineage, a nurturing family, and a childhood that laid the foundation for his future success. Swayze's grandfather, a World War I flying ace from Houston, set the stage for a family legacy of greatness. His mother, Patsy Yvonne Helen, a remarkable woman in her own right, brought her own flair to the mix. Before she married Jesse Wayne Swayze, a young countryman, Patsy had already made a name for herself as an athlete and dancer. Growing up in the Swayze household was an experience like no other. Patrick, the second of five children, found himself immersed in a world of constant activity and creativity. His mother, determined to support her family, opened a dance school that quickly became the heartbeat of the local arts scene. Patsy's passion for dance and performance was infectious, and she poured her heart into directing and choreographing various productions. With Patrick's father working as an engineer for an oil company, the Swayze home was a delicate balance of work, art, and family life. For Patrick and his siblings, free time was a precious commodity. They were constantly engaged in a whirlwind of activities and responsibilities, each one shaping them into the unique individuals they would become. Patrick Swayze, in particular, inherited a mix of traits from both his parents. From his father, he inherited a love for the wildness of nature and the creatures within it, qualities that nurtured his sensitive and compassionate heart. His mother, however, gifted him with a storyteller's imagination and a touch of theatrical spirit. As Swayze navigated the challenges of school, he discovered that his true passions lay beyond the classroom walls. While he may have been an average student academically, he came alive when given the opportunity to explore his creative interests. From a young age, he immersed himself in the world of ballet, ice skating, and theater. He possessed an innate talent for the performing arts, and his dedication to these pursuits was evident to all who knew him. But his interests were not limited to the stage. He was also a gifted athlete, excelling in football and martial arts. The discipline and physical prowess he developed through these activities would later prove invaluable in his acting career, allowing him to tackle demanding roles with ease. Whether it was on the football field or in the ballet studio, he approached every challenge with the same fierce determination and unwavering commitment, passion, pain, and perseverance. As Patrick Swayze embarked on his journey to stardom, he encountered a series of challenges that would test his resolve and shape him into the resilient and determined artist he would become. From a young age, his love for dance set him apart from his peers, but it also made him a target for teasing and ridicule. Growing up in the South during a time when boys pursuing the arts was far from the norm, Swayze faced frequent mockery from his classmates. However, he refused to let their narrow-mindedness deter him from his passion. The bullying Swayze endured was not limited to verbal taunts. At times, it escalated into physical violence. In his memoir, he recounts a harrowing incident in which a group of five boys brutally attacked him. This traumatic experience prompted Swayze's father to teach him the art of self-defense, instilling in him the importance of standing up for himself and his beliefs. With his parents' guidance, he learned to confront his tormentors individually, a lesson that would serve him well throughout his life. While Swayze's classmates might have been a source of pain, it was his mother, Patsy, who posed the greatest challenge to his emotional and psychological well-being. Patsy, a talented choreographer and dancer in her own right, could be exceptionally demanding and critical of her son. Her strict nature and high expectations often crossed the line into abuse, leaving deep scars on Swayze's psyche. 
Patsy's harsh treatment was not limited to words. She also subjected him to physical abuse, a cycle that remained unbroken until his 18th birthday when his father intervened with an ultimatum. Despite the trauma he endured at the hands of his mother, he never lost his love for dance. He channeled his pain into his performances, pouring his heart and soul into every movement. His athleticism and unwavering dedication caught the attention of his high school football coach, who recognized Swayze's potential and offered him the chance to play for the team. He leaped at the opportunity, seeing it as a means to prove himself and earn his father's approval. However, fate had other plans for Swayze. During a game in his senior year, he suffered a devastating knee injury that shattered his dreams of playing college football. He redirected his focus to dance and gymnastics, using these disciplines to regain his strength and mobility, from chorus line to leading man. In 1972, Patrick Swayze moved to New York City to complete his formal dance training at the prestigious Harkness Ballet and Joffrey Ballet Schools. Studying ballet with some of the city's most renowned institutions instilled in him a discipline and grace that would set him apart from his peers. At these schools, he honed his craft, pushing himself to the limits of his physical and artistic abilities and developing the skills that would later define his career. However, Swayze's training was not limited to dancing alone. He also delved into the world of drama, studying at San Jacinto College, where he first explored the craft of acting. With each class and performance, his confidence grew, and his natural talent began to shine through, revealing a passion that would ultimately shape his future. Despite his undeniable skills, Swayze's journey to success was not without challenges. In the competitive entertainment world, he navigated a sea of rejections and uncertainty, but he approached each obstacle with the same tenacity and determination that had carried him through his earlier struggles. His persistence paid off when he landed a lead dancer role with the Elliott Feld Ballet in New York City, showcasing his incredible talent and stage presence and earning the respect and admiration of his fellow dancers. His muscular physique and rugged good looks set him apart from the traditional image of a ballet dancer, but it was his undeniable skill and passion that truly made him stand out. As Swayze threw himself into the dance world, he encountered another obstacle in 1976, a severe tooth abscess that led to a life-threatening infection, spreading to his bloodstream and settling in his injured knee. The situation became so dire that amputation was considered. Fortunately, with the help of skilled doctors and his own indomitable spirit, he overcame the infection. However, the experience left him with the realization that his dream of becoming a professional ballet dancer was no longer attainable. But believing in his talent and strong character, he made the bold decision to relocate to the City of Stars Los Angeles, determined to break into the world of acting. Arriving in Hollywood in 1979 with little more than his talent and dreams, he was ready to take on whatever challenges lay ahead. Swayze's first foray into the world of film came with a small role in the 1979 movie Skate Town, USA. Although the film itself was forgettable, Swayze's performance hinted at the raw talent that would soon take Hollywood by storm. As he continued to audition and hone his craft, he landed a recurring role in the television series The Renegades in 1982, providing him with valuable exposure and experience. His breakout role came in the 1985 television miniseries North and South, showcasing his versatility as an actor and his ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters. However, it was his next project that would catapult him to international stardom and cement his place in Hollywood history. In 1987, Patrick Swayze stepped into the role of Johnny Castle in the now iconic film Dirty Dancing. The role, which required a perfect blend of athleticism, sensuality, and emotional depth, seemed tailor-made for him. His years of dance training and natural charisma shone through in every scene, captivating audiences and critics alike, and marking the beginning of an extraordinary career that would forever change the landscape of American cinema. The time of his life. Dirty Dancing. When Dirty Dancing first hit the screens in 1987, few could have predicted the massive cultural impact it would have. The film, which starred Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey, faced its fair share of challenges during production. Initially, there were doubts about the project's potential. 
but his unwavering belief in the story and his chemistry with Grey convinced the producers to take a chance. One of the most iconic scenes in the movie, the lift in the finale, almost didn't happen. Swayze, who had suffered a severe knee injury during the filming of the balance scene on the log, was in excruciating pain. The cold water of the lake where the lift scene was shot only exacerbated his discomfort. However, his determination and professionalism shone through as he executed the lift flawlessly, despite the agony he endured. While Swayze was initially uncertain about Gray's suitability for the role of baby, given their 10-year age difference, her audition quickly put those doubts to rest. Gray's convincing portrayal of a naive teenager and her undeniable chemistry with Swayze won over the producers in just five minutes. Filming Dirty Dancing was not without its challenges. The cast and crew had to contend with unfavorable weather conditions, as the majority of the shoot took place in Virginia during the fall, despite the story being set in the summer. The actors were often underdressed for the chilly temperatures, and the crew had to resort to spray painting the autumn leaves green to maintain continuity. Despite these obstacles, Dirty Dancing went on to become a massive box office success. Made on a modest budget of $5 million, the film grossed over $214 million worldwide, an incredible achievement for the time. The movie's popularity endured long after its initial release, becoming a cultural phenomenon and earning him his first Golden Globe nomination for his portrayal of Johnny Castle. The success of Dirty Dancing catapulted him to international stardom and cemented his status as a Hollywood heartthrob. The film's impact on popular culture is still felt today, with its iconic songs, unforgettable dance moves, and timeless story of love and self-discovery continuing to resonate with audiences of all ages. Behind the heartthrob, fame, addiction, and depression. In the wake of Dirty Dancing's massive success, Patrick Swayze found himself thrust into the spotlight like never before. The intense media scrutiny and constant rumors that followed were a double-edged sword for the actor. While his newfound fame opened doors and brought him opportunities, it also took a toll on his personal life and mental well-being. Swayze struggled with being typecast as a heartthrob, feeling that his good looks often overshadowed his acting abilities. In an attempt to break free from this typecasting, he took on a variety of roles in different genres, ranging from action films like Roadhouse to romantic dramas like Ghost. However, not all of these projects were well received, and he found himself grappling with feelings of unfulfillment and self-doubt. As the pressure of fame and the constant media attention weighed on him, Swayze turned to alcohol as a means of coping. His drinking habit, which had been present since his father's untimely death in 1982, spiraled out of control. The actor found himself caught in a vicious cycle, using alcohol to numb his pain and escape the pressures of his celebrity status. Recognizing the severity of his addiction, Swayze checked himself into rehab in 1993. While he initially managed to achieve sobriety, he later relapsed. Throughout this period, he also battled depression, a condition that was exacerbated by his professional and personal struggles. He openly discussed his insecurities and the internal turmoil he faced, revealing a vulnerable side to the seemingly confident and charismatic star. He admitted to feeling a deep sense of self-loathing and a constant pressure to maintain his image as a Hollywood leading man. Despite the challenges he faced, Swayze's resilience and determination shone through. He continued to work on his craft, taking on challenging roles and pushing himself to grow as an actor. His honesty about his struggles with addiction and depression also served as an inspiration to others, reminding them that even the most seemingly perfect lives are not without their difficulties, ghost, grit, and glory. After a series of box office disappointments in the late 1980s, Patrick Swayze's career was in need of a resurgence. That opportunity came in the form of the 1990 romantic drama Ghost. In the film, Swayze portrayed Sam Wheat, a man who is murdered but remains a ghost to protect his girlfriend, played by Demi Moore. His performance was critically acclaimed and earned him his second Golden Globe nomination, cementing his status as a versatile and talented actor. The success of Ghost propelled him back into the spotlight and reaffirmed his position as one of Hollywood's most sought-after leading men. He followed up this triumph with a string of memorable roles that showcased his range and versatility as an actor. 
In 1991, he starred opposite Keanu Reeves in the action-packed thriller Point Break, playing the charismatic and enigmatic Bodhi, the leader of a group of surfers who moonlight as bank robbers. Swayze continued to challenge himself with diverse roles, such as his portrayal of an American doctor who finds purpose and enlightenment in the slums of Calcutta in the 1992 drama City of Joy. Although the film was not a commercial success, his performance was praised for its depth and sincerity. In 1995, Swayze took on one of the most daring roles of his career, playing a drag queen in the comedy To Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. His portrayal of Vida Boheme, alongside co-stars Wesley Snipes and John Leguizamo, showcased his willingness to take risks and push boundaries. While the film received mixed reviews, Swayze's commitment to the role and his ability to find the humanity in his character were widely applauded. Swayze's career came full circle in 2004 when he returned to his roots as a dance instructor in the Dirty Dancing prequel, Havana Nights. Although the film did not quite capture the magic of the original, his presence served as a nostalgic nod to the role that had defined his early career and endeared him to audiences worldwide. Throughout the 1990s and early 2000s, Patrick Swayze continued to leave his mark on Hollywood, taking on a wide range of roles that demonstrated his acting prowess and his ability to connect with audiences. Love, loss, and the unbreakable bond. Patrick Swayze's life was marked by incredible highs and devastating lows, both professionally and personally. One of the constants throughout his journey was his unwavering love for his wife, Lisa Niemi. The couple first met when Lisa was a student at Swayze's mother's dance school, and their connection was immediate and undeniable. Swayze and Niemi's relationship blossomed, and they tied the knot in 1975. Their marriage was a true partnership, with Lisa supporting him through every triumph and challenge. She even appeared alongside him in several films throughout his career, including Steel Dawn and One Last Dance, showcasing their unbreakable bond both on and off the screen. However, their love story was not without its share of heartbreak. In 1990, Lisa suffered a miscarriage, a devastating loss that left the couple grappling with grief and unfulfilled dreams of parenthood. Swayze, who had always cherished the idea of becoming a father, was deeply affected by the tragedy. The experience left a lasting impact on the couple, and they ultimately made the difficult decision to not have children, a choice that Swayze would later describe as one of his greatest regrets. Tragedy struck again in 1982 when Swayze's beloved father, Jesse, passed away suddenly from a heart attack. The loss was profound for Swayze, who had always looked up to his father as a source of strength and guidance. The pain of this loss would stay with Swayze for the remainder of his life, and he often spoke of the deep void left by his father's absence. In 1994, he faced another devastating blow when his sister Vicky took her own life after a long battle with depression. The actor was consumed by grief and guilt, wondering if he could have done more to help his troubled sibling. The weight of this loss, combined with the pressure of his career and his own personal demons, took a significant toll on Swayze's mental health. To cope with the overwhelming sense of loss and responsibility, he turned to Buddhism and therapy. These practices provided him with solace and a means of processing his grief. He also credited his wife, Lisa, with being his rock during these difficult times, offering unwavering support and love in the face of unimaginable heartbreak. Despite the pain and tragedy that marked his personal life, Patrick Swayze's love for his wife and his family never wavered. His marriage to Lisa remained a constant source of strength and comfort. Through the highs and lows, the couple faced each challenge together, their love serving as a beacon of hope and resilience in the face of unimaginable loss, brushes with death, near-fatal experiences, and indomitable spirit. Throughout his life, Patrick Swayze faced numerous brushes with death that tested his resolve and showcased his indomitable spirit. One such harrowing experience occurred in 2000 when Swayze narrowly escaped a plane crash while flying his own private plane from California to New Mexico. The actor, who held a pilot's license, was en route to his ranch, Rancho Bizarro, when he encountered a problem with the plane's pressurization system. 
Swayze, determined to reach his destination, continued flying at a lower altitude to mitigate the issue. However, the lack of oxygen took its toll, and he unexpectedly lost consciousness mid-flight. The plane, still on autopilot, flew dangerously close to the ground, coming within feet of crashing on several occasions. Miraculously, he regained consciousness just in time to take control of the aircraft and avoid a catastrophic accident. The incident, however, was not without controversy. When Swayze landed the plane, empty alcohol bottles were discovered in the cockpit, leading to allegations of flying under the influence. The actor vehemently denied these claims, attributing the presence of the bottles to a previous trip. Despite the media scrutiny and legal challenges that followed, he remained focused on his recovery and his commitment to his craft. This near-fatal experience was just one of many instances where Swayze's resilience and determination shone through. Throughout his career, he faced numerous injuries and setbacks that would have derailed most performers. During the filming of Dirty Dancing, Swayze suffered a severe knee injury that left him in excruciating pain. Yet he pushed through, continuing to perform the film's demanding dance routines with grace and passion. The Biggest Battle, Fight Against Cancer In January 2008, Patrick Swayze received the devastating news that would change his life forever. After experiencing persistent stomach pains, the actor was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer, one of the most aggressive and deadly forms of the disease. The prognosis was grim, but Swayze, true to his nature, refused to surrender without a fight. Swayze immediately began a grueling regimen of chemotherapy and experimental treatments to fight the cancer. He sought care at Stanford University Medical Center, where he underwent cutting-edge therapies designed to target the tumor and prolong his life. Despite the physical toll of the treatments, he remained determined to beat the odds and emerge victorious. In his battle, Swayze made the brave decision to use his platform to raise awareness about pancreatic disease. In September 2008, he participated in the Stand Up to Cancer Telethon, where he delivered a powerful and emotional speech about his experience with the disease. His words resonated with viewers across the nation, and his call for increased funding and research into pancreatic cancer left an indelible mark on the public consciousness. Despite the severity of his condition, Swayze maintained a remarkable level of optimism and continued to work throughout his treatment. He refused to let the cancer define him or limit his ability to pursue his passions. Even as rumors swirl about his declining health, he remained focused on his craft, determined to leave a lasting legacy. However, as the months passed, the cancer began to take its toll. In January 2009, Swayze was hospitalized with pneumonia, a complication of his weakened immune system. Though he initially recovered, the setback served as a stark reminder of the fragility of his health. As the disease progressed, Swayze's condition rapidly deteriorated. Yet even in his darkest moments, he found strength in the love and support of his family and friends. His wife, Lisa Nimi, remained a constant presence by his side, providing comfort and care as he navigated the final stages of his illness. On September 14, 2009, Patrick Swayze passed away at the age of 57, surrounded by his loved ones. His battle with pancreatic cancer had come to an end, but his legacy of courage, determination, and grace in the face of adversity would live on. Last Words and Lisa's Memoir In the final weeks of his life, Patrick Swayze retreated to his family's ranch home in California, seeking solace and comfort in the familiar surroundings. The once vibrant actor was a shadow of his former self, his body ravaged by the cancer that had consumed him. Yet even in his weakened state, Swayze's spirit remained unbroken, and his love for his wife, Lisa Nimi, burned as brightly as ever. As Swayze's condition worsened, Lisa remained by his side, providing unwavering support and care. She sat with him for hours, holding his hand and reminiscing about their life together. Even when Swayze slipped into a coma, Lisa refused to leave his side, whispering words of love and encouragement into his ear. In those final moments, as Lisa held Swayze's hand and told him how much she loved him, Swayze mustered the strength to respond with three simple words, I love you. Those heartbreaking last words would forever be etched in Lisa's memory. 
Following Swayze's passing, Lisa channeled her grief into writing, penning a memoir titled Worth Fighting For. The book offered an intimate glimpse into their life together, chronicling their joys, struggles, and unwavering commitment to one another. Lisa's words painted a portrait of a man who, despite his fame and success, remained grounded in his love for his wife and his passion for his craft. In her memoir, Lisa shared the details of their final days together, revealing the tender moments and heartbreaking conversations that marked the end of his life. She wrote of the pain of watching her husband suffer and the incredible strength he displayed in the face of unimaginable adversity. Nobody puts sways in a corner, legacy, and impact. More than a decade after his passing, Patrick Swayze continues to capture the hearts and imaginations of fans worldwide. His impact on popular culture is undeniable. His performances in films like Dirty Dancing and Ghost remain timeless symbols of romance, passion, and the enduring power of the human spirit. Swayze embodied a relentless commitment to his craft, persevering through tremendous personal challenges. His battle with cancer didn't extinguish his spirit. Instead, he continued to work, inspiring others with his undeniable strength. His ability to find joy and meaning in his art, even in the most difficult of times, speaks volumes about his character and determination. Swayze's talents went beyond his iconic acting roles. As a gifted musician and songwriter, he co-wrote and performed the unforgettable song She's Like the Wind for the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. This creative versatility showcases his artistic depth and his passion for expressing himself through different mediums. His legacy lives on, reminding us of his extraordinary talent and charisma. The 2019 documentary I Am Patrick Swayze offers a deeper look into his life and career, while his 1996 star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is a lasting symbol of his incredible contributions to the entertainment world. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.